Uh, so we're here with Jared Abergina. Uh, we're just going to talk about foot ascenders and knee ascenders. Um, still a lot of people out there that may not even know how these work, uh, what advantages they can bring. Uh, Jared climbs mainly SRS now, stationary rope system, but um, you've definitely had your fair share of moving rope <laughs> systems. Um, but if you could just kind of speak to how something as simple as a foot ascender could be such a great investment. Um, and it doesn't matter what type of kit you already have. I mean, even if you're climbing with a Blake's hitch, a foot ascender can still make a difference. Absolutely. Um, so just kind of speak to maybe uh, if somebody's on the fence of whether or not they want to make this investment, um, maybe some good pointers on, uh, on why they should. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, such a great tool in our industry that is so easily bypassed. Um, like, like Brandon was saying, whether you're at the very, you know, beginning stages of climbing or at advanced, you know, this is, this is something you're gonna need in your kit, and especially if you're growing, right? right. So, um, you know, think about it like this, you know, we, we, we spend all day pulling ourselves up and down the tree with our arms if we're on an MRS system, right? So we're exerting a lot of that energy with, you know, our arms and our upper body. You know, it only makes sense if we're gonna move up these trees, you know, why not use the largest muscle group we have, which is our legs, right? So, you know, something like this will just take, you know, 50% or more of that pain out of your upper body and save it for the actual production and, and, and work that has to get done. So, with that being said, this is incorporated with, um, you know, obviously a knee ascender. Now right. you can use you can use both of your legs opposed to just using one. Um, if, you get, if you're just getting into this and you're, um, kind of questioning it out. What's great about these foot ascenders is they can be used with any type of system, climbing system that's out there today. Whether it be you know a moving rope system, Blake's hitch, split tail system, I and I, uh, all the way up to an SRS system. So um, if you're looking at advancing your skills and moving up the pipeline, you're going to need one of these anyhow, um, and you're going to see a wide variety on the market. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, right yeah. And they're all great products, and they all do the job. Um, and this is just one thing again that you're gonna you're gonna have to play around with and do some do some research and figure out what works best for you. So, um, how much quicker would you be willing to bet one of these would help somebody ascend up a tree, even in a moving rope system, compared to a body thruster? Of course, there's a lot of foot lockers that are really quick, but right. that's right. A definitely uh, a skill that not everybody has. So, yep. um, you know, are you thinking two or three times faster with one of these things? In your system versus a body thrust, I would say easily two times. Yeah, two. Yeah, I mean okay. it's 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 not so much even the speed. It's all about saving the energy, right? You know, and I, and from experience, you know, bringing bringing guys in and training them and putting them instantly on just a foot ascender changes their life, changes their world in one day. And and once you add the knee ascender to it, right, it changes their world even even more. So, you know, this is you know if I don't. I would say no matter what point in your career as a climber you are, having these two items is, is a must. Great.